which is <laughs> Afrikaans. <laughs> when you translate that to English, it's being so oh shut up. Oh my god, no. And no, that's what I've said, yes. Everybody. And then, no, 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 we're still going, like we're still uh, going, no. we are still going. <laughs> you know. What do I call you when we're talking? What do I call you when we're talking? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our podcast. It's your boy, Jesse Keegan. And your girl, Fanny Rungu. And you're listening to Diving In with Fanny and Jesse. This podcast is brought to you by NSY. NSY is an accessory brand when you're dealing with sunglasses and other accessories. Yeah, as you heard, it's like a, a lovely uh, trending uh, glasses and stuff like that. If you want to check out NSY, just go on Instagram and type in N underscore S underscore why just make sure to browse in make sure to just go and you know browse in if you want to uh, get one of your coolest glasses and stuff like that and yeah man stay cool man stay cool stay cool it yeah so um week. before i talk about my week this is number one podcast you're listening to around cyprus and <coughs> uh, sorry guys oh, man. uh yeah this is number one podcast you're listening to in cyprus and yeah it's an honor actually so yeah um you're asking me about my week yeah. my week has been amazing um what did i do i've been been locked down in terms of we're having an exam so i'm about to write like uh, i was told to write seven thousand words of a topic that i chose uh, which i feel is an amazing topic it's about a director called batalucci amazing director yeah what else was i doing um nothing else i just i've just been doing research and research because seven thousand words is not as easy as you think i mean it's a lot but it needs a lot it it, it is i mean it is a lot of words meaning especially if you if you don't have the content and you have to go deeper and find the content and all that yeah so i've been doing that the whole time and also other assignments not only this one (laughs) yeah so basically that has been my week nothing much how about your week Oh, my week is still the same thing. There's still waiting arrange, arrangements being made. I feel so tired. I feel like I'm the one getting married, but of course I'm not the one. And just, you're saying it's your it's your cousin who's getting married or something? It's actually mom's cousin, but then she's our age, so we just we all say we're all cousins. So yeah, and hmm. you've thrown me off my thought line. I said I was tired, but finally people left, so I have at least this part of the house to myself. Finally, I can make reaction videos, I can do one or two vlogs if I have time. I mean, when I rest, well, I'll have time to make or do the usual things that I do. And then I was trying to arrange things for my new vlog. I think I mentioned it last time. I'm trying to... I'm trying to start a new blog and I'm trying to just arrange the content around. So that's what I've been doing. What else? What's the what's the what's the what like what's the name of your new blog? My people can go and check it out. Um morning coffee with funny. I just want it to be like a morning thing, a, a morning session thing going on. Maybe just post something positive. You can just I don't know. Mm. I'm not sure. I'm just all over right now. And then another thing I wanted to say is um that's when yesterday I was sick, I was really, really sick, but then um, I'm glad I'm feeling better today. So that's how my week has been. And I think I said another interesting thing that happened this week. What? What's it? Oh, yes, this week is the is watching the documentary of the director that got convicted because of these sexual assault things he committed against women in the industry, I guess. What's his name? Steve, is, is he a Steve or Stevie? Let me, let me, let me, no, let me, let me check it out. Um, no, I think it's, um, it's Steve, right? No, not Steven Wine. Yes, it no, is. not the Weinstein guy. Yes, it is. No, 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 not that. I'm one. telling you, it is. It starts with, for real, you think so? I think it's a Steve. I think you're thinking about the other Epstein guy. Are you sure it's that Steve guy? Yeah, I think it's Steve. The Epstein guy is going to premiere on the 20th of June on ID channel. Ah, 
Let yeah. me just check on on uh, on Netflix. So, what did you uh, depict in the in the series or something? Well, what is it that you depicted? Oh, is it a series? Is it going to be like a documentary series or ah, something? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a documentary, just like the way uh, s- surviving what? Is it that crazy or something the way it was? I haven't seen that when you've seen it. No, I haven't seen it too. I just saw like uh, highlights about it, but I don't like an, an indulging in those series because I know I don't know, man. But anyway, I man, feel I feel you should watch yeah? some of these things. But then, how do people just ignore such things just because someone has money? They can just shut you up just like that. You should watch the one I'm talking about. Have you seen it yet? No, I've not seen it. Could you could you check out the name please? I'm trying to to look at it here. I'm trying to find it. It was just a Steve. I'm sure he's a Steve. He was convicted this year, right? Mm. You think he's a Steve? No, 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 no. Some something. No, it is Steve. Yes, I it is think. Steve. Steve, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. It's so um, what do you call? It? I mean, I mean, it's so it's so bad, man. Cause I had I, I heard of the story, man. Like whatever he was doing, that was so wicked. But again, I think it goes deeper than that. Ah, too. he's not a Steve Harvey. Harvey Weinstein. Yes. It's Harvey, yeah. Mhm. Hmm. I thought so. But he's so young. He's like only Who? sixty-eight. Sixty-eight is not young, man. Sixty-eight is young. Sixty-eight is not young. Anything fifty, anything below uh, sixty, uh, okay, you 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 kind of young. You get it. But no, I'm just on, thinking because when I saw him, like the day he got, was it the day he got convicted or something? Like he can't even walk upright. He needs that supporting thing old people use. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Ah, so but that guy was wicked, man. Yeah, it is weak. I think he deserves it. I think he deserves it too. But I know there are a lot of people in that industry deserve the same thing, but they are... Uh, yeah, they, I mean, because imagine <laughs> he rapes you and he makes you think you've got a problem with yourself. No, and then you meaning have to... it's not Steve. It's called... No, it's called Jeffrey. It's Jeffrey. Harvey. What are you talking about? I mean, stop it, man. It's called Jeffrey. I was watching it yesterday. It's really it's Harvey. this thing is on Netflix. No, the it's one on that premiered right now actually. I'm talking about DSTV. I'll check what program showed yesterday. Oh, it's a ah, Harvey. Okay, you're talking about DSTV. Okay. Yes. What I'm talking about is called Jeffrey Epstein or something like that. I've, it's called I, Filthy Rich. No, not even that. I think that one Epstein, right? Epstein. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I said that one that is one. premiering on DSTV on the 20th of June. Ah, okay, okay. They're going to it's try to solve Netflix his murder. Are watching it already. Yeah. Or maybe something also, that one was evil. That. I'm sure he that was. That one was even more more evil. Yeah, more evil than even uh, Steve. Uh, that, that guy, I don't know, Steve or something. Not Steve, Harvey. We keep saying Steve. I don't know why I'm saying Steve, but it's Harvey. Oh, Harvey, sorry. Harvey Weinstein. I'm sorry, man. Ish. Sorry, sorry. So, last time we promised you a second part of a long distance relationship conversation and. I guess for back some of the things do you want to say anything before I say the questions no no you can jump in and some of the questions that I get from my friends is even before I left Cyprus where um, since you're dating someone who's not from Zambia what's going to happen when you finish school and the other one is um, it's a statement it's not a question now that I'm home certain friends on mine say it's a long distance relationship it doesn't count so we're going to talk about the first question if that's fine with you how are you going to survive the question, or how are you going to manage or what happens after school when you guys part ways what's going to happen after school it's you finished school happened. already i'm still in school mm-hmm. yeah so the question is like what is is, is it going to happen when I'm, when I'm done with school no the question was when I was still in Cyprus, what's going to happen to your relationship since you guys are not from the nah, same country? Okay. Of course, um, 
I think we had a discussion about this. Uh, the idea is to to do what, like embrace the fact that uh, we're gonna have a long distance relationship, and we just have to to make it work in terms of of uh, all those factors like communication and whatnot, which we are doing it. You understand? Although sometimes. Um, it's not as easy as you think, but we are trying to do as much as possible and making it look so interesting. You understand? Wait, I'm I mean, confused. they did we really talk about it? I I think so. I can't even remember. But anyway, let's just talk about it now. <laughs> uh, I mean, there there <laughs> there are a lot of factors. You understand? There are a lot of factors. Uh, um, we are in two separate uh, what do you call this uh, part of the world? You understand? So the only thing that will bridge us together is um, communication and trying to just make it interesting and probably plan on one or two things on how we're going to meet each other and stuff like that, even plan on how the future is going to look like. And yeah, so the whole important thing now is just communication, to keep in touch and making sure that uh, the whole situation is being managed in the right way. I think I, I can't go further into... So that discussion I, I don't know yeah sure you can talk i don't think we spoke about it in time all right i do think we had a conversation i remember the day before i left we had a conversation there's a lot of things that yeah. were going on but otherwise i don't think we ever thought about it and then at the end of the day i guess we said we're going to communicate that was the solution yeah. to whatever was going to be the norm for us staying apart yeah exactly not seeing each other and communication i guess and i'm trying to think there's something i wanted to say but otherwise i think people should talk about it i think i just part when talking i think people should talk about it where before you're leaving each other don't wait till last minute mm. to talk about things because things are just you may be rushing, a lot of things go on, otherwise, communication, guys. And the other thing was, um, now that I'm home, I have people around me saying it's a long-distance relationship. You know how those go, they don't mean anything. So what would you say about yeah. that? I mean, what I'd like to tell people about long-distance relationship, it's, uh, first of all, you need to... Um, you yourself who's being a victim of long distance relationship you have to accept the fact that you wouldn't be seeing your boyfriend maybe for a certain time you understand and you need to embrace the fact that since i'm in a long distance relationship there are certain things that um you're gonna have like challenges and whatnot of course uh long distance relationship it's actually one of the best things in a relationship why am i saying that because it actually tests your your patience. Uh, I think I talked about it last time. It tests your patience, how Wait, trustful you, you are that. to your. Okay, it, it tests your um, your patience. It tests your how um, what do you call this? How patience you are, how you have. I mean, trustful you are, uh, endurance. I mean, all these type of things. You get it, and also you'll have time for yourself to figure out exactly what you want to do. But again, as you figure out on what you want to do, you can also plan um on meeting each other trying to do things together and trying to um make the relationship interesting it's not a guys but people people um people make long distance relationship look like it's something out of this world no it's not people survive long distance relationship and and those people who survive long distance relationship it's it's actually good because the moment you meet there's a different spark you understand i mean you different think you can survive flame long just distance going... relationship i can survive long distance relationship look for example um there are army people who go for like uh, <laughs> how many years like even two years and they come <laughs> back home None of us and the army, amazing. So... <laughs> exactly but... so i don't see the reason as to why somebody should say like hey man i can't i can't have long distance relationship i think it's just um People are misinformed at some point. I feel so because not me, everyone is misinformed. Also I mean, some people have experienced them and they were hell. Yeah. So maybe they're speaking from experience, or they know someone who knows someone who went through a very bad long distance yeah. relationship. Whatever the case is. But but but, but 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 do not 
but do not look at somebody's um, fate or whatever thing that happened and then trying to equate it to you as you get it. I mean, that's where people are making a mistake. If you know that, okay, somebody else uh, was in a long distance relationship and it didn't work, try to uh try to look into it in a in a in a different perspective in terms of get what exactly was he or she not doing and try to use those things you understand it's normally it's it works you understand it works but even if you had a bad experience about long distance relationship doesn't mean that the next relationship which is going to be long distance is going to be a bad experience remember uh you're meeting a different type of person that person would have been different from the other person that she had, you had a relationship with, you know, way back. So I think experiences is important, but at the same time, you will know exactly what to do when you're in your next relationship, which is on a long distance or something. It shouldn't be a big problem. People should stop. People should stop that, man. I like the point that you made about uh, patience. I don't think I'm patient. I'm trying to be patient. Like he said, yeah, not exactly. everything can be small. Um, I did I don't watch it. Why do I keep on forgetting? At the end of the day, I feel like, I think this is my opinion. I'm not saying it's the same for everyone. I feel like uh, sometimes yeah. the distance defines you guys. That's how you know. <laughs> I was going to say something else. That It, it just defines you guys because then it's a test yeah. of time. If you, it's true it's true because like, then by now maybe we would have broken up by now anything could have happened we're still here so we're trying our best it's a defining factor yeah it's true man very very true very very true that's why i keep on saying when you're in a long distance relationship that's when now you get tested like that's a real test you understand <laughs> The, um, and and I don't think it's a real test. Well. It's just one of those tests that certain people get to go through in life. For me, I feel it's a real test, man. It's a real test because imagine you're all by yourself for like eight months. What are you gonna do? Are you understanding what I'm trying to say? Uh, yeah. I mean, this is like an ultimate type of test, man. I mean, if you're in that kind of position, you you have to be a principal type of a guy or a principal type of a woman. Principal is really the word yeah principle you understand you have to be that kind of person who actually goes with what you <laughs> doctrine that you have uh, and um, i feel that's the best thing and with that trust me if you meet again and uh, th th there's a different spark of flame that's going to come you understand because you earn yourself a respect and you also give that respect to the other um person you understand which is really amazing so the respect is going to be even amazing other than just being together for the whole time you've never had a long distant relation okay anyway the people who have never had long distance relationship but um they're okay which is a good thing yeah i mean we but all can go um, through the same things in life yeah sure everybody has the different experiences but again also being together has has its own challenges you understand sometimes you might be together and you feel like, no, I need space for myself. You understand? And then um, maybe a Are long you speaking distance. For yourself? Is there... No, I'm not speaking for myself. I'm saying sometimes you feel like. Um, I'm not going to attack you. No, I mean, sometimes you feel like you're in a. You've been in a relationship. Like you, you guys have been together for a while, but you feel like you need space for yourself for at least to just um go deeper and think about certain things and whatnot you understand and i don't know sometimes things just do happen and you find yourself in a long distance relationship it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing it was meant to happen that way so that uh you can find who you are probably also the other partner can find it herself and whatnot and then when you guys come back together you have that uh rejuvenated type of feeling and it's gonna make things even more interesting and it's going to go uh like you know when you charge your battery <laughs> <laughs> like when you charge your battery and then um to a certain level and then now you use your phone i mean it's going to go for uh, a longevity i mean for the longest time i don't know oh no 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 charge your battery i mean if you have like an external battery and what 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 <laughs> you can put it together and then it can go for like the longest period of time i think that's how long distance is if you, you you do the right things in between 
yeah like I so said, I think that's it's it. a defining moment because I feel like love is a choice. You get to choose to love someone each and every day. So if you no longer love them, and things, if you're still yeah. trying to love them, I guess you stay and things work out. So can we jump to where we left it last time? Yeah, sure, man. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go so in. So one of the things on the life hack list was to do with long distance relationships was avoid dangerous situations and this is uh talking about where you know like don't do something your partner won't agree with like going to the club perhaps so what do you have to say about that yeah i mean um, not just going to the club just any activities that are going to piss off your partner or she won't agree with or he won't agree with yeah, I mean, very, very important. Like, avoiding dangerous situations is actually one of the keys that uh, people who are in a long-distance relationship should actually look into. Not only long-distance, even if you're together, <laughs> you have to uh, avoid that because you don't want your partner to feel some type of way when uh, maybe you go out, maybe, um, especially when you don't tell him or her that, uh, like, I'm going out in the club, maybe with the boys or something. You understand? But if... You need to understand what he really, what she really likes, or what she really. You understand, like for instance. Or what gets on your you, partner's nerves? Yeah, like, like uh, my 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 Mingmin sometimes feels like I should always tell her whenever I'm going out. So I think that's a thing that is really important. So whenever probably I want to go, but I'm not the type that I normally go out. I'm just. No, I'm just the type that but I'm then my the, the thing with that is, it doesn't matter whether we're together. You, I also asked you to tell me like what's going on with you. Like, okay, I'm going to town now. Even if you're still yeah. coming back home, and I'll see you. It's not about. It's not about. What can I say? It's not about trying to be nosy. I mean, anything can happen in this world. If you people watch crime, have you seen what happens? People disappear. Anything mm -hmm. can happen just because yeah. you think Cyprus is um safe doesn't mean you can't be attacked with nothing bad can happen to you just tell someone where you're going otherwise i think we used to do that at some point with my parents if we're going somewhere we'll say oh we're going to this place even if we're using a cab we'll actually send the cab uh number as well like what number the number plate so that's how it is so i think it's normal for me that's why i say if you're going somewhere at least let someone know you just can't disappear so what if they find you there yeah, today? Yeah. What are we going to okay. say? Okay, I understand where you're coming from. You learned that from your parents, you understand? Which is a good thing. So you want to implement that in your relationship. Plus in you a just relationship, told which is a good thing. If you're yeah. traveling, I'm in yeah, Dubai, exactly. I reach Dubai, I'm going to say, oh, now I'm in Dubai. I think it's yeah. only, I think, I find it normal though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a good thing what you're trying to say, you understand? But again, you have to consider also the other partner. You, you're coming from a household where you tell each other where I'm going and where I'm coming from and all these type of things. But uh, are you considering maybe this other partner, maybe uh, he, he or like he has never been in that position, you understand? Or he has been in that position, but not as intense as you as you have been in or something like that so you get to um, learn so if, it's, if if it makes your partner exactly exactly feel comfortable exactly. you get to learn you train your partner to exactly that's handle certain things in life i guess so ladies and gentlemen we're getting into number seven and number seven is do things together and uh man this this one right here is actually uh really important and i think this is self-explanatory um people know i mean okay not everybody knows about like the uh, importance of doing things together when you're in a long distance relationship but i feel like when you people do things together it actually um creates a bond and it actually makes you have like that nice amazing type of memory and it gives a lot of longevity actually and I you feel actually like remind you each should other. do things willingly mm -hmm. also just don't feel like someone is forcing you or your partner is forcing you or you're doing something just to please the other person because uh -huh. then if yeah, you do it true. willingly you get to enjoy stuff then the yeah. bond is created mm -hmm. 
I was just reading down what true. number seven says, and it says, "Sing." Mm -hmm. Adam quoted this: "Sing to each other on Skype while one of you plays the guitar." Forget the guitar part. I'm focusing on the singing type. So if you know you've got a voice mm. and you can sing, you yeah. can sing to your girlfriend. That's directed to nah, you. Nah, you know, man, you know me. I don't have any voice, man. I mean, my voice is kind of scratchy, so. <laughs> I it doesn't matter. Like, um, it doesn't matter how many times I've been on the phone. I can't even sing, but I'm always singing in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, singing in the back. Come on, let me stop saying no, that. You Look, know, you I've don't. never heard me singing. I, I mean, me. I mean, I can't sing. Like, just to be you honest, you can I can't sing. sing. You can sing. Sometimes yeah. you used to lose yourself in the song and sing. Yeah, it's it's, it's because uh, maybe I was just trying to go with the song, but it doesn't mean that I can. Sing. Everybody can do that. You know, everyone can do that. I understand. Don't sing. <laughs> you don't have to sound great, just sing. Okay, anyway, yeah, that's a good point. Singing singing to your girlfriend. Even like taking a walk. Like for example, what you, you normally do every Friday is, is I mean come on, you can take a walk and be on phone together, man. Yeah, what no. mean? Come on, man. My friend, I'm not I'm not ready to lose my phone. I'm scared of walking with my phone. Mm -mm. We can do anything else. Uh, so, uh, you <laughs> Oh my god. Go on. It doesn't mean that if you take a walk, you just go out and take a walk. You can take a walk around your house and just, you know. Oh, no, I do that. It doesn't all have the time. to be like external type of thing. You anyway, say that. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, another important thing we normally do is we watch um, movies together every Friday, which is a good thing. I mean, that's a good way of creating a bond together. Um, also, I think another thing people should know about us is that. We also have a podcast and this is what we do normally uh we have something that we are doing together we have uh, youtube that we are doing together we also have a uh, what do you call this um a blog together where we share interesting stuff you can just go check it out man i think we're going to put it on the link uh, in the description you just go and check it out yeah i feel like number eight yeah. is the same as seven it says do similar things like yeah, I, yeah, recommend yeah, yeah. books. So, yeah. I think we've recommended each other books. I gave you books that you like, you would like to read, and you gave me stuff yeah, that I, I would like to read. Not that you have to read the same things, but sometimes yeah. you can read the same things. That's if you're interested in reading the same things. There's TV shows. Have we started any TV shows together? We we did Dynasty. Remember. Mm-hmm. But I stopped watching yeah. that one. I don't know why. You recommended um, you, I you recommended gonna... Money Haste and I, I still recommended have... Money Haste, but you didn't even have a chance to watch it. No, something, I've watched that one. I've watched it. I just have to watch it. You finished you. the whole thing? Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. That's good. Music. Huh, music. That's a tough one. News. I think we always talk about news though. Or anything in the news yeah yeah exactly we normally talk about and also on like um when it comes to music um we have podcasts sorry we have like spotify we share together and i see you listening to some uh music and stuff i mean i see your playlist sometimes i want to listen to your playlist which is not bad have you listened to anything there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but sometimes your playlists are so subliminals. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah, I just love hey, love it, songs. It. I love love songs. It doesn't matter if they just. Uh, it's I mean, so, said as you faith. Stuck up to love songs, as man. Faith. You, you should. You should you actually should. listen to. Um, you should listen to South Soul's new uh, song uh, album just came out, The Midnight Train. So I was trying to listen to it like the whole day today, which was was good. I mean, it's a good album. Oh, check it out. I was trying to say, even Lucky Adore doesn't have a new um, album because it will be in that playlist. Which one? Who? Adele. I'm saying, yeah, Lucky Adele ah, doesn't have a new album because it will be there. Adele, 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 Adele is already washed out. <laughs> Adele is washed out, She's man. Not. Oh <laughs> Adele is. Did you see her picture? Yeah, I saw her. I don't know why she had to. Man. She was very cute, being she chubby. Like she had, man, she looked like she has Kwasha or something. I mean, she's still okay. People have different <laughs> reasons for losing weight. Stop that. Go to number nine. 
Anyway, yeah, guys. Um, number eight is uh, I think it's just the same thing that we talked about on in num on number seven or something like that. So number nine is make visits to each other. I mean, this one to yourself explanatory, man. I mean, uh, once in a while, try to in a long distance relationship, try to find time and go see your better half, which is important. You understand? Because you guys missed each other, man. You get it. Even, 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 even those army people, they normally go home. Yeah, and the army. Uh, finally. <laughs> you know. <laughs> even, even the army guys. No, I'm trying to re like to relate it to the army guys because those guys go for the longest. Mm -hmm. Understand? Yeah. So, um, even the army guys, uh, uh, at the end of the day, they go back, you know, uh, home and uh, they uh, they visit. They actually, and I mean, it's it's a good thing. You know, when you visit somebody you um it's like you highlight of um i mean it's like it's just like a highlight of every long distance relationship you understand it's something that is so uh sparky i mean so amazing and i mean um, you've been apart that, for a long time there's things that you guys want yeah. to do together be it watching something together be it holding hands going out there's a lot of things <laughs> Why did you laugh? No, I, I was just reading below. It says like, it will be like fireworks, glitter bombs, <laughs> confetti. confetti, rain, <laughs> this is confetti. Yeah. Sorry, man, my English teacher, man, age. Rainbows and butterflies everywhere. Yeah, ex exactly, man. They forgot to put some unicorns in there. Anyway, <laughs> which is a... Uh, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be the same thing that I'm reading right there. It's gonna be fireworks, man. It's gonna be uh, the best thing ever. Anyway, I mean, self-explanatory self right there. I mean, it's really important to visit each other if you know that you're in a long-distance relationship, which is amazing. I've not had a chance to visit you, Ming Ming, but hopefully I will visit you probably soon. And it's gonna happen. So I'm actually looking into that. We've got to number 10. Sorry? We've got to number 10. Yeah, sure. So number 10 says that have a goal in mind. What do you guys want to achieve together? Mm, yeah. As this much as you be, oh. people are individuals, you can achieve things separately at the end of the day. Also, I think your relationship shouldn't just be goalless. You should have a goal in mind. That's why I think our first yeah. topic, was it our first topic or second topic, we spoke about having a purpose, dating with a purpose. So that should yeah, yeah, be yeah. in line with this. Have something that you guys want to achieve together. Like he mentioned, I think, uh, two factors away. I'm not even sure. You said you spoke about, um, shit, what did you talk about? You spoke about uh, doing things together, like we've got a blog together, we've got this together, we've got all those things. Those are ones goals just written down and now we're able to do them and mm -hmm. we're going somewhere with them. But then we don't have to sit here and mention the other goals that we have in mind or because certain things just should just remain private. Yeah, true. So what true. you take? Very, very true. Um, I, I was just reading here as you were talking, uh, which you made a very good point too. Oh, so and another thing I, I is, just wait, picked, sorry. Yeah. Talk about the feature. Some people are clueless about the feature. They don't even, even if you ask, ah, yeah, sure. how's our tomorrow going to be? Someone is blank. Yeah, I, sure. I hate so, blank people. So now, um, uh, uh, an, uh, an important thing, I'll uh, just, on. Uh, um, pointed here talks about the truth is no couple can be in a long distance relationship forever you get it. eventually we all need to settle down which is really important as much as you think that uh, this long distance relationship yeah 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 and all this uh, hula baloo and whatnot at the end of the day you have to settle down i mean you have to come in together and you know come up with a decision that's where now you have to have what we call um, a plan a long uh, long but uh, okay you start with a short time short term plan and then long term plan and in between there that's where now you structure your goals and everything which i think when you have that in line you tend to you tend to actually 
be so uh what do you call this submissive to one another you understand because you realize that hey at the end of the day man we have a goal that we need to <laughs> to to look into and then you find yourself working on that goal and also um you're building also a legacy i'm the type of guy who i want to build an empire you understand not just for my relationship me and you but also for uh, the, the the kids that are going to come in you understand they need to understand that hey Who's these kids? two people they worked really hard our kids <laughs> understand they, need, they need to realize I think they need to realize like hey this this guy's worked extra hard to just go this higher and then you know the way you handle the the baton to the uh, to the next person that's how I'm, I'm 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 supposed to do i mean that's how we are supposed to do stuff or probably anyone in a relationship is supposed to do stuff i don't know i think with this one you have to be on the same page because you people don't think alike you're going to come with an you're going to come up with an idea i'm going to come up with an idea and we should find a common ground to put those ideas together we shouldn't just go with okay jesse said this let's go with that again jesse wants us to achieve this let's go with that because then at the end of the day yeah. someone may feel like maybe the opinions or ideas are not being appreciated in the relationship we can go to the next one is that your dog barking nah i told you man i didn't tell you that my dog um he got he got he got uh uh, uh, is, is it a male dog who came and I, I think they just disappeared man <laughs> that's a laugh story for another day man Aish. <laughs> they just the went <laughs> man I, I feel so bad but anyway I know I know she's gonna come back so um number 11 yeah it talks about enjoy your alone time and your time with your friends and family mm-hmm. I mean yeah, this one I like this, uh, one. this one right is really yeah, yeah this one is really man this this is really important right here uh as, as much as you think that i i want to be in your face uh, uh, as much as you think ming ming i want to be in jesse's face all the time <laughs> are you directing day, that to me <laughs> no yes of course <laughs> for you're you. trash at the end of the day you have to think like hey you know what i need time for myself you know growth doesn't just come with being with a person the entire time growth comes this is very important i want to tell everybody out there the most important growth is your own growth you understand when you have that time alone not with also friends and family just your time alone try to figure out yourself there's something i normally like telling people today i'm speaking uh, sense the one, yeah the, uh, come on man i normally talk sense me mean stop uh, <laughs> stop telling me this man you know me go i'm on. a sensible type of guy uh, i normally say this to people uh, the only way out is within you get it and um this one actually translates to when you love yourself so much until it, uh the love gets to the brim and it's just like pouring down i mean that's the moment that you're supposed to go out i mean that's like a point that you're supposed to go out there and give out that love to your fellow uh uh what do you call it? um spouse or something uh your your man your your lady or something like that i mean people should understand that but you find that in a relationship like people people don't look into those things enjoying your time alone um being you with your friends you understand and family family is really important friends is also important but you need to be with friends who uh who have same interest with you or, or who have a best interest in heart for you or something like that you understand can I, talk, can I, I think I yeah i think i can't i don't have anything else i think i've just put it good because i'm know. trying to say that i think this one is hard when you find yourself in a relationship first that's when you think okay maybe i'm tired of the relationship let me take time to myself i like this one i think it's my favorite because i think i said this at the beginning of our relationship as well i enjoyed i think i was single for maybe three four years two years i don't know or even despite the situationships in between i didn't settle down with whoever came my way because i was enjoying my time alone i had time to do whatever i wanted to do my grades were fine i was enjoying just sleeping in i'm an indoor person so i enjoy staying inside it actually bothers me when someone asks you to go out sometimes so when you learn those things when you're alone you can um take those in your relationship 
Be comfortable with being alone. Be comfortable being alone, finding things for yourself or making things happen for yourself. Then find a partner you can who will, who will understand whatever is going on. Otherwise, like I said, this is my fail. Alone time is the best time sometimes. And yeah, I mean, uh, it's you've made a really good point in that. Very good point. It's good to actually, guys, man, you, you need to be alone as an, as, as, at a certain stage in life oh, so and that the you thing that you said exactly sometimes it you helps are. you to grow yes because you discover yeah, oh, man, yourself it, oh, man. especially me i can give an example towards this uh, corona period or something do you know i've have i've had the most growth when i am all alone like for example in terms of this Tempo. quarantine period and also during summer period man like i've, I've because I realized during summer, that's when I changed to become a vegan, like for three years now, since 2017. And it, I mean, I changed. I mean, there's a lot of things I do. Like I tend to um, uh, think about when I'm alone. You, start, you, you understand? It makes me actually uh, think critically about things, and which is amazing. So everybody should do that. But as you think critically, make sure that in that thinking thoughts, you're also putting in your your uh your lady or your man or something which uh is it's it's really important yeah. so. oh it's my turn it's you yeah uh stay honest with each other so Shady, this yeah. one ah no stay honest with the other partner your partner each other so with this one i don't even know why people lie I really don't like I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm an upfront person. If I did something, if I went to the club, I went to you, I went to the club. I want sugar coat it by saying, you know what, I yeah. went to Chipo's place, then I tripped, found myself in the club. No, I'm going to be straightforward. Sorry I didn't tell you if I went to the club. I don't say if, I don't use if when I'm apologizing. I just say, sorry I went to the club without telling you. But otherwise, just be honest. If you did something, if you're going to do something, be upfront about it. Don't beat about the bush. Don't say, um, I think Chipo wants me to go to her place. Or maybe, mm. um, I don't know what to say, but you know what I'm talking about. What do you have to say about this one? I mean, being honest is one of the fact is that every relationship should have especially long distance relationship because this is where you um you 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 actually try to know who your partner is and stuff like that you see uh talk like <clears throat> talk about your feelings of fear like uh, insecurities jealousy apathy whatsoever yes, you get it. I mean, sense today my friend you understand i mean it, it it's it's just more of like giving out your feelings out there sometimes i'm but this type of a person that i just like people I just don't like, no, let me finish. many let me finish let Wait, me finish my point i'm going to get this all right me personally i don't know why i'm this type of a person that i'm so uh conservative i don't know why sometimes man what do you mean? i know you know that i mean uh like I like you maybe you can do something bad instead of or I can maybe do something bad but instead of telling you I keep it to myself for a little while but True. I normally tell you that this is a type of person that I am I like just analyzing situations alone like I'm, I just try I normally say like um, I don't force things I just let the universe uh, do <laughs> things smont like simultaneously but at the end of the day um, you don't have to just let the universe do everything just like that you also have to let the universe uh, look into your mind and see your thoughts. Yeah. And when, and if it sees your thoughts are like uh, good thoughts and all those kind of things, then it's gonna like uh, uh, talk your way into you, and probably you're gonna be having uh, you're gonna have uh, what do you call this? Uh, what do you call, a talk with your partner that is gonna let you pour out your feelings and your insecurities and jealousy and all those things you understand but which then is with yeah, us, a good thing. like you said i'm glad you're calling yourself out um i'm glad you're admitting well, this because <laughs> <laughs> if i brought it up outside this conversation oh you would have denied this fact i'm just saying with us we find ourselves in a situation where if jesse does something wrong to me i'll say it there and then i don't even have to wait i'll talk about it then then because i know i don't want to be 
upset even the next day because I'll be upset today upset the next day if I don't talk about it but for him to find me doing something wrong or see something wrong and to just keep quiet but then wait until you start talking about what the issues are with him doesn't he starts talking about things but then like you said people are different in this world maybe that's you but then I would advise anyone yeah. that's like that to not take things another day imagine you start arguing about something today and then you bring up oh but that day he did this it doesn't make sense so why didn't you talk about it the other day so just try that's why that's what i'm saying um the most important thing is knowing your partner you understand if in the mm-hmm. long run you understand that this is how he is but then, then try okay, to that's what i'm saying in my try, in, in our situation yeah. i feel like that's why i never find myself doing anything wrong do you understand yeah uh, anyway yeah it's, it's 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 true but now the thing is that's just like what what i was saying like if you understand like this is your partner and this is how probably he behaves instead of like trying to force it into him try to uh try yourself to just try and fit in a little bit you understand if he's that type you know it's really hard to change somebody especially men i don't know man it's it's really hard ah, that's if a lie that's a how... man that loves you will change no matter the case no you're not really you're not getting my point i'm saying i'm you, saying but a man that doesn't no, want I'm to saying, change won't change because he thinks you're trash Oh, you're not going anywhere. you're not no you're not understanding me there 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 are different type of things that someone can change for you understand mm-hmm. there's character there's behavior like demeanor and all those kind of things there's those uh, dirty things that probably somebody does somebody can change those dirty things but there are those inbuilt type of behaviors that somebody normally has of course they can change but it cannot go f- it, it, it can't go like all the way to 100 120 on the spectrum you understand it will have to take time you understand so that's why i'm saying in the long run if you understand your partner how he or she behaves you can come with a common understanding with each other you understand if you feel like the type of person who is like uh, aggressive yeah, yeah yeah it's fine if you feel like like your partner is this type of passive you understand who's is a chill type of person who doesn't want to be that aggressive then you should understand that how can i uh bridge these kind of things together also i mean work things out instead of trying to condemn that partner because he doesn't want to solve things right there and then sometimes oh i'm not uh, talking about solving solve, things no i'm just saying because sometimes when you when you try to like solve things right there and then you can make bad decisions you can somebody can just say okay fine let's solve it and then but literally in his heart he's still having those uh, grudge or bad feelings and then it's going to mount up mount mount up and then whenever anything comes up he will always go back he or she's going to go back to like the previous uh, stuff that uh, he did not feel uh, secure about you understand so i feel like uh, the whole point about um of uh, uh feelings of fear insecurity jealousy has to be talked into and you, it's not easy to be in a relationship you need to understand your partner like 100% you need to know who the, the kind of person you're dealing with and this one will 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 need you to have a high level of IQ especially IQ. when 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 no, okay not really IQ probably just try to be have that level of understanding man it should be just But this that's why we the, humans are making yeah. progress exactly and you know humans to evolve every day you understand like for mm-hmm. example me i was evolving in terms of becoming a vegan you know trying to look at the world in a different perspective you understand so when you see your partner is going that direction you shouldn't try and condemn them you shouldn't try to make it look like mm, now it's becoming a vegan so what about me you understand but if he's doing it for good will and you feel like if i go that direction too it's going to help me in a certain way probably build my spirituality maybe try make my healthy even more better and stuff like that why don't you jump in you get my point Mm-hmm. I think it's yeah. I don't want to go much into this. Maybe you can just uh, talk about this in another discussion or something. So ladies and gentlemen, my number 13 talks about staying positive. Man, I've I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I mean, me I'm the type that I always want 
has to be positive. And I think you can attest to that, Ming Ming. I don't know, I just want you to talk about it. Maybe you can just touch on it. What do you think does being positive? What does being positive or stay positive mean to you? Um, since it's a long distance relationship, don't kill yourself thinking about, don't just have restless nights thinking your partner is doing other things. That's why I always say communication is key. Whenever you're troubled, talk to your partner. Make sure, even if it's an argument, make sure that you're fine by the time you're going to bed. Sort out your issues. If you're insecure about something, let your partner know, communicate it. Whether you're happy about something, communicate the excitement. Whatever the case is, just don't kill yourself uh, creating these scenarios in your head that something bad is happening, they're cheating on you, they're seeing someone else, whatever the case is, and just um, stay positive, keep a happy mind, keep happy thoughts, whatever the case is. I guess that's what this yeah. one means to me. Yeah. You're not going to say anything about it? So I feel, okay, I feel how I can interpret this is um, like be constantly like injecting positive energy into into your relationship. Like let it be that consistent flow of positive energy between your partner. You get my point. And also be thankful, man, for each yeah, other's health. That. And be grateful and, that and, you and, even and, have and, someone in your life. Sorry for disturbing you. Yeah. And also the safety, you get my point. I like the fact that when when uh, you wake up in the morning, you drop me a text uh, just to make me, just to make my morning just be a, a better morning. And so sometimes I read those texts and it actually uh, gives me a lot of uh, energy, a lot of, uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, if, if you can call it like power or something, just to go into my day and do things and stuff like that, which is really amazing. I like the point that you made of the messages that are dropping in the morning. I think it can, for certain people, you can make it about your souls, but I've chosen to just talk about you in those messages, like maybe you're a special person or you're appreciated, mm -hmm. such things. I think those things go a long way, reminding your partner or just, what can I say? You're just reminding, my English has gone. Mm -hmm. English has yeah. it's just a great way to start a day. Just just, Nyanja, my it's like like you said, Jake, <laughs> <laughs> I can't even speak Nyanja that well. You're just giving someone like the zeal or I don't know, it just puts a smile on someone's face because I know I love good morning text. Even if it's just a good morning, love you at the end, that's fine. But then like I think you like such things like when someone owns dressy just other than just a good morning text. Yeah. So that's why I do those yeah. things. But again, I, I, okay, I wanted to say this thing. Just one more thing. I was saying, okay, not not only just by giving your love loved one like a morning text and all these kind of things. Okay, that one is is a good thing. But again, how do you view your partner? You understand? How how do you look at him? Do you have positive aspect? of of him being uh what do you call it? being a good person or probably doing good things or thinking or maybe having those thoughts like ah this guy is going to be a great person you understand because if you have that positive aspect towards uh your spouse trust me there's those energy that is being directed towards you to him and then um eventually what's going to happen is um he he will find that his day is going just so well because not only because he had, he had the, 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 that same thought, but because also you channel that energy to, to, to him and whatnot. I mean, it's, it's really important to do that. That's why I normally say that when you're in a relationship, make sure everybody is in the same positive level, like energy vibrations, you understand? It, it also requires understanding. Exactly. So when you... Just because your partner is saying, I feel this about this thing, doesn't mean they're trying to ruin your day. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to look into it that way. You understand? No, I'm not saying that is my yeah. point. Ah, okay, I'm cool. I'm just saying because there's some people out there that lose their mind. Oh, my goodness, here she goes again with something to complain about. Make it, it's communication. Just say, okay, I understand what you're saying, and this time around I'll do this, this thing differently. And boom. No one is moody, no one is upset, no one is breaking up. I think I think I think most of the long distance relationships don't don't work because of um, maybe having those negative thoughts and uh, having those you know those those evil ideas you know sometimes you become so idle 
and then you start thinking like ah this i've texted this man and she hasn't even and he hasn't even texted me back so what should i do uh, let me start having those evil thoughts you get it and then now you start having evil thoughts not knowing that what you think about is what actually happens or what you think is what it becomes and most people don't know that but it's actually the truth if you go deeper you realize that your thoughts becomes a reality that's why there are people who thought about this camera that is in front of me and then it just came a reality so whenever you're having those thoughts make sure to just eradicate them like straight up make sure you have positive thoughts whenever you have positive thoughts nothing is going to happen on the other side of the world positive energy is just going to be put out there i think that's how i think that's my last <laughs> thought about this uh, stay positive what's number 14 and our last point is going to be give each other pet names i guess mine is ming ming which i don't find cute and i've said nah, it before look look look, 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 look ming 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 is the best thing <laughs> i haven't ever. even finished talking nah, 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 nah. Gonna, no it's no, not it's fine Tree. it's there. not ming ming do you know it has to be remember, about how your partner feels remember, this is what i was saying oh, chill, communication chill, excuse you chill, no, chill. no 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 it doesn't matter what kind of name you get from your partner you just have to embrace it <laughs> even if you're gonna call him like bobriski or something <laughs> Oh, so uh, good, good that you mentioned that. So should I save you as that? Should I start calling you nah, that? You know what? Uh, that that Ming Ming is such a unique name. You cannot find it anywhere. You understand? It's just yours. It's yours. And it, it's, it's <laughs> no, just, it's come, not Bob Risky, mine. Come, Bob Risky is, is is related to someone, <laughs> someone who I don't like. Like just to be honest. But um, what I'm trying to say is this, oh. Ming. Look. What I'm trying to, to say is this: Ming Ming is a good name, very very passionate name. Especially, do you know we? No, it's not. There's nothing passionate yeah, 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 about yeah, yeah, it. What do you mean passionate? You know, we used to have a cat that is called Ling, and she's also. I mean, she's around. I normally see Ling every day, and she has a lot of kids and family. So, you know, the thing is, I gave you Ming Ming because I felt like ah, this is Ling. No, I and came this before Ming -Ming. the cat. No, I came before the exactly. cat. So what are you talking about? No, but again, Ming Ming looks like just like a, a, a friendly type of, of name that is is associated with only pets. You get my? It's not cute. Now I have I have a, what do you call are this? Are you not understanding me? I have a fish like a goldfish, and uh, her name is Lulu. <laughs> so is Lulu okay for you? Or it's a uh... no. Ah uh, no, no, no. Where is the Lulu from? No, I got it. You're naming me after your fish? <laughs> no, you say we give each other pet names, so I think Lulu is the best thing. I mean, No, pet names doesn't mean like it has to be a dog's name or whatever the case is. It's cute names. My lady is fine. That one is very, very My lady is not a pet name. How can you call a cat my lady? D it doesn't no, make sense. It doesn't, have, it doesn't mean pet name. It's like what you call your partner already people ah, all right. hey, are hey, fine okay, just okay, baby it. but ming ming is good ming ming man ming ming, ming is no, it's not. ming ming is the best thing man no, 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 no. i don't know why you hate that name but i don't know man but that's the best thing you you haven't it's even given cute. me you haven't even given me any name okay no, no what no, do no, i stop, play when stop, i text no, 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 you no, stop. What do I call you when I talk to you? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. What do you okay? Yes. What do you call me? What do you call no, me? No, what do I call you? No, no, what do you call through me? Through text, what do I don't call you? Don't tell me you call me daddy. What do I no, call don't you? Don't tell me call me daddy. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I don't even call you daddy. Exactly, because no. <laughs> that one is like H. So why are you calling me daddy? <laughs> daddy. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> no, 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 no. That one, that one is something different. My name is just something else. You get it now. Look. No, I don't call you that. You need to what call me. What I said, what do I call you when I text you? Ming Ming, look, look. No, look. Uh, no, be honest. No, be honest. Your camera is recording. What do I call you when I text you? Ming Ming, you call me Baba. Uh-uh. <laughs> no mm -hmm. Baba. Which is <laughs> Afrikaans. <laughs> when you translate that to English, it's baby. So oh, shut up. Oh my God, no. And no, that's what I've said, yes. And then, no, 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 we're still going, like we're still a, going, no. we are still going. <laughs> you know, what do I call you when we're talking? What do I call you when we're talking? No, what do you call me when you're talking? Mm -hmm. No, what? You told no, me. You call me Bob or something. Oh, you don't know what I call you? No, no, I don't. It's rare that I say that. You normally call me Baba. What? 
I think they difference. Difference. There's a very very big difference my friend. So change my name. Come on, why 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 would I even change the Ming Ming? The Ming Ming is just amazing. Look, that's a name. That's a name that is gonna just be you know you know like um there's no need for me to no call you something. Use look, no, 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 look, 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 look. That's cute. No, That's but sweet. come on, babe. No, listen, listen, listen. I normally call you my love all the time on text. True or false? <laughs> no, no, not actually even my love. Not even Can I my get love. a dollar for every time no, no, no. you lie when no, no, it comes no, 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 to whatever no, 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 we're talking sorry, about? Sorry, sorry. Let me correct that. I don't when call you. When you say my love, then I don't know what's happened that day. No, 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 no. I don't call you. I don't call you that. I call you um, what do you call this? Um, my lady. Every time I call you my you lady. My lady is cute. Exactly, but you know my lady has been used. My lady is cute. No, my lady has been used all. I mean, okay, I don't mind calling you that name. Used by I who? I do not mind. If you're saying Listen. you've used it on the previous ex, then yes, there's a problem. I'm not saying but that. Then you're not you're getting my point. I'm not getting my That's point. fine. My lady. A lot of people have been it's using. Fine. I mean, a lot of people are using it. It's not unique. Fine. That unique. I still don't mind fine. using that, it's but still fine. Ming it's Ming, still fine. Ming Ming is gonna be your 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 name name. Apart from Fanny Lungu, I'm gonna call you Ming Ming. You're my Ming Ming. You understand? Thank, thank God my battery is low, so can we end this? All right, so um. Call me Ming Ming. I won't be responding. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, this has been an interesting, interesting conversation right here. I hope everybody has been tuned in and you've been able to actually listen to our conversation. Such an amazing conversation, man. If you feel that um, if you feel that you like whatever we've talked about, just go on our comment section. Just let us know, man. Just just go tell us exactly what you you think about the whole thing about the long distance relationship. If you have any kind of points uh, uh, apart from what we've talked about, like the fourteen points that we've talked about, let just us let us know in the comment section. Just let us know what kind of uh, points you have. Maybe you might have uh, good points in you or something and you want probably to share it out just let me let us know let us know man and also uh for the people who have been able to subscribe to our podcast man keep on subscribing and if you aren't asked to discuss any relationship type based of topic just let us know and we're gonna do it for you guys and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe man that's the most important thing guys we, we would like to grow with you guys and actually be part of the family i mean feel free to just ask us anything anyway this has been diving in with fanny and jesse and thank you so much for listening and we're going to see you in the next podcast and deuces